Hi guys, um, I'm back. Today I'll be making for you Thai green curry. Um, we'll be making the Thai green curry paste from scratch. Um, a lot of people on my Instagram have requested it and I have all the ingredients. So um, I'm making that for dinner tonight. Um, if you want to get your Thai green curry paste from the store, it'll be so much more easier. Um, but for those who want to make it from scratch, please follow the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get cooking. Right, so for the Thai green curry, um, I've listed all the ingredients which you need in the start of the video. So what we're going to do for the main paste is we're going to grind everything in. You could either use a hand blender or one of these bad boys. Um, I'll be using this because I don't have a hand blender. You'll start by putting in your onions. Um, I've chopped two onions, just mediumly, mediumly chopped. We're all going to get grinded. And then I'm going to put coriander. I've left the stalks and everything inside. Um, I've done about a handful. Of coriander just pop that in I've chopped one chili depends on how hot you want your Thai green curry paste I've put one and I think these are pretty hot so that will do me and then we're gonna put in five kaffir lime leaves and I'll just chop that up really roughly I'm saving two. Um, I'm saving three cafe lime leaves for our curry after, and then I've chopped up four garlic cloves. So one, two, three, four, and then four pieces of ginger. It's about five centimeters worth of ginger, and then we're gonna put in some cumin powder. Put that in. I've put in half a teaspoon of cumin powder. And then that's the basis of your um, green curry. Um, I usually put lemongrass in it, but I've only got the fresh stalks like so. Um, I'm not gonna put this in here because when you grind it, um, the stalks will come out and it will just be really like a not great texture. So we'll put this in our curry when we infuse it with coconut milk. But if you have lemongrass powder, put some lemongrass powder in here and it'll taste even better. So now I'm going to put in some fish sauce. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of fish sauce. Like so. And then I'm just going to put half a teaspoon of um, sesame oil just really lightly drizzle it around and then now we are ready to grind this um it may take you a while to grind um get a spoon and carry on um turning around the mixture inside here if it gets all stuck to one side if you need to um loosen it up a little bit put maybe a teaspoon of water to get that along and then that's your thai green curry paste and i'll be back right so I'm back and we have our Thai green curry paste. I'm just going to transfer everything in a nice bowl. Um, for this, I'll probably use two tablespoons, which I've literally just made enough for two tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons worth. Oh, do you know what? We'll use it all. <laughs> there we go. That's our curry paste. Now, um... If you make quite a lot of this, this will last in the fridge for about a week. Keep it refrigerated. Um, yeah, and it's really yummy. It smells good. We have our Thai green curry paste. So let's start the fun part. Right, we're back. So now we're going to start making the curry and the Thai green curry. So what I've done is put one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil inside waiting for it to get nice and hot and then we're going to start with 
one tablespoon of our Thai green curry paste which we made and I've just got a heap of it and I'm just going to put it in like so and then we're just going to mix it and get all the flavours to be infused real nicely for about a minute wow and then we're gonna get our coconut milk i've just got a whole tin of coconut milk um i probably won't need it because i've only got a little bit of chicken but i'm gonna use it anyway because i like them saucy so now we're gonna put in a whole tub of coconut milk in like so and just get all of the bits out of here and then just mix right so in here we're gonna put the rest of our cafe lime leaves um, I've only got three so I'll be putting them in and then we have our lemongrass stalks I have four little ones like so I'll be putting that in and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another tablespoon of our high green curry paste in like so and then just mix it all in and then I have just half a bowl of chopped chicken breast um it's only a small bit because I only make these videos for myself and then I end up making it for 500 people and then no one's gonna eat them so I'm trying to limit my wastage of meat in my videos so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this chicken inside and then i'm gonna just let the chicken cook for about 20 minutes but whilst i'm doing so please keep stirring because this is coconut milk and it will um thicken up whilst it's cooking so if you need to add more please add more coconut milk um whilst you're stirring we'll come back in about 10 minutes just to check up on it and then we'll try the um we'll try the um coconut curry and see if it needs anything because if you've seen i've not put any salt in today yeah i'm trying to cut down on salt a lot because i think i put salt in everything so yeah um let's see how it turns out let's put our chicken in just cover it all up like so um let that simmer down for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back to check on the flavors and um that's about it really so be back in 10 guys keep it on a med um, slow to medium heat and then cover it too and we'll be back right we're back we're gonna have a look at our thai green curry you can see that the um, milk is the coconut milk is boiling away so now we're just gonna try just give it a nice mix oh this smells so good so we're just gonna try it now to see if it needs anything i'm gonna get my spoon mm, wow right i think it needs a couple of more stalks of lemongrass in it so I'm just gonna add two more. Actually, no, I'm just gonna add one. I'll add a big one. Um, it doesn't need any salt. Um, it doesn't need any heat. Um, if you want to add more Thai green curry paste, you can. Um, I'm not going to. It, it's just, it's really good as it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is put the lid back on and then um, let that simmer down and cook for another 15 minutes. And in between those 15 minutes, I'll come back in 10 minutes to check up on the um, curry sauce and then we'll add our veg. I've got sugar snap peas and um, a few baby corn pieces and I've got some peppers that I like in my Thai green curry and I'll just put that in in the last five minutes because I still like having my vegetables with like a nice little crunch to them so I'm not going to put them in now so we'll be back in about 10 minutes it's been about 15 minutes left it a little bit long but um oops time I started doing the dishes and then completely forgot um so yeah we're gonna open this we're gonna check it i continuously kept on stirring throughout the 15 minutes and you 
know what? It hasn't gone too thick. It's still pretty fine. That's good stuff. Um, I'm just going to try the chicken to see if it's done. And then we're going to add in our veg. Um, a lot of Thai green curry recipes, they cook their chicken first and then they just light, lightly fry them in um, oil. Um, not a fan of that. I like cooking my chicken in the sauce because your chicken is so much more tender and soft. So let's try it. Yep, perfect. Chicken's done. So now we're going to add in our veg, our sugar snap peas and our peppers. I'm going to mix that all in. Um, I'll just give this a couple of minutes inside and then we have our chai green curry guys. So leave that to, to boil and cover for about five minutes and then your chai green curry is done. And also one other thing is before serving, make sure you take out all of your lemongrass um, sticks out of your curry. Um, it's just really not a pleasant taste when somebody is eating into um, a Thai green curry and then just get a stick. Um, so make sure you take out your lemongrass sticks once your veg is done. And then I'll show you a video once it's plated. <laughs> 